Hey everyone, Camber here helping you stay fit for life. And I have shown you what I eat in a typical day to stay ripped. But what about when you're out of the norm? Like now I'm on vacation for a week. So I'm gonna show you what I do differently to still stay in shape while on vacation. Cause a lot of people will use the excuse of, oh, I'm on vacation, I'm just gonna eat everything I want and be so happy, which I can somewhat understand that last year when we came here, I had dieted down to lose 10 pounds and did it the wrong way, cutting out stuff completely, not really knowing what I was doing that well. And when I got here, I started eating cakes and candy, cookies, ice cream, chips, all kinds of stuff that I cut out and I could not stop for a week and it was bad. But now I know how to diet better with things that I like and I would suggest that you don't do a diet type thing unless it's something you can maintain for life, which is what I've done now. So what I have here behind me, as you can see, is some French toast because I really like that. I brought my griddle with me on this trip because my breakfast is one thing I really like to make sure something really good that I like to have. I know you might think, oh, but when I'm on vacation, I might be in a hotel room or wherever. I don't have a griddle. I don't have the option. Well, I do have other videos showing fast food options that will keep you full or lower calories. So don't make excuses on that kind of stuff. You just have to get creative sometimes and uh, make it work. And to go along with the French toast, we have some Greek yogurt, blueberries and strawberries. And of course we can't forget the sugar-free syrup. Now, I forgot my food scale at home. So it's just ballpark estimate. I make the same type of stuff at home. It's probably around 650 to 700 calories for this whole thing, 60 grams of protein. So this is gonna fill you up. I mean, I'm not gonna be sitting here thinking, oh, I wanna eat all this other stuff because this tastes really good. I really like it. And uh, I don't eat this every day. Like yesterday I had waffles. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna have my banana pancakes, which I have a video, I'll put that somewhere as well, that are really good. So like as I said, find ways to make your foods taste really good, low calorie, dense, meaning a lot of volume, low calories, fills you up, you're satisfied with what you have, you're not thinking about, oh, I wanna eat again. So that's the trick with your diet, staying lean and enjoying it. So let's eat this. So that was good. As you saw, that was a lot of food. I'm really full. Do not have any desire to eat more, feel like I need to, anything like that. I don't feel like I'm missing out. But I looked up, there's a few local gyms in the area. I'm gonna go try to see if I can get a day pass for one of them. Work out a couple times this week because I do stay pretty active while we're here between swimming, kayaking, paddle boarding, playing with the kids on the beach, all kinds of stuff. But I do wanna get some weightlifting in as well just to maintain. Found a gym right across the street from the hotel, so we're walking over to it to get a good full body workout a couple times this week. Hopefully it's not gonna be lame. I'm here with the man who taught me how to get swole from a young age. So let's do this. Now, I gotta hurry up and make a protein shake so I can take maximum advantage of the post-workout anabolic window. Psych, I'm still full from breakfast. That was a lot of food and there's no anabolic window. Just eat when you get hungry. I'm usually not hungry for at least an hour after working out. So just forget about that. Do what makes sense. So I'm gonna head down to meet Jill and the fun. kids at the beach. See yeah, you there. Whoa, nice belly. pool now for a bit to get out of the sun, be in the shade, and I'm starting to get hungry finally, so protein bar is a snack before lunch. I normally like my homemade protein bars better, but it's a little inconvenient for stuff like this, so use your brain and do what makes sense based on your situation. Adapt. So I'll have this and relax. And a jump to daddy. No, get on this step. Come on. Do, do your other jump. That looks painful. Hi.
So, we have a massive salad for lunch, as you saw from me putting together earlier, along with some zesty Italian fat-free dressing, which Jill hates. She has to have full fat and everything. If you compare it to the normal zesty Italian, 60 calories per serving, this is 15, so you can have four times as much, and I like a lot of dressing. I'm guessing this is maybe 400, 450 calories, because most of the vegetables hardly have any calories. Some chicken, some low-fat cheese. What? Some <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hey, let me see your chip bag. <laughs> Just to compare, this bag of chips that's the side to my sister and my wife's thing. 390 calories for the whole for the whole bag of this. So it's close to close to the same as this. You might think I don't like salad, but you don't have to eat salad. There's plenty of options of stuff you can have but you can also make even better choices on your salad. So I'm gonna eat this and then be really full. Oh, and everything that's on it, just in case you couldn't tell from the vegetables, I have cucumber, pepper, onions, mushrooms, I forget what else. There's a lot onions, of stuff in here. Carrots, cucumbers, carrots, carrots. With, uh, tomatoes, tomatoes on it. That's good. Do you put tomatoes on yours? Mm -hmm. Tomatoes are a little bit higher in calories for like, I just because they're a fruit. It's like, I, I don't five, like them as much as you do. I like, think it's five calories per like one, which I mean, that's not a lot, but when you, I can just eat them by like. <laughs> this one has yellow number five, yeah. yellow number six. You're showing the camera your Oreos. <laughs> Oreo! <laughs> like, Oreo! This part of your video I just interrupted. Golly, look at that sweet salad. You guys got all the best food. <laughs> Oreos and salad. salad. <laughs> So that was a pretty filling meal and I am going to have a little dessert to go with it. We got these right here, small little ice cream cone. They are at 150 calories per cone. Portion control right here because if I got something like Ben and Jerry's, you know I'd be eating the whole pint because I can't stop eating that stuff. So I'm going to have that while all those monsters are watching a show to keep them out of the hottest part of the day because some kids got sunburnt yesterday, and we're trying to prevent that from happening again. And uh, work on a little bit of videos, and then show you some more food. <laughs> Movie's over. Time to go to the beach. But before we do, I'm going to have a snack. And it is my homemade yogurt parfait Chick-fil-A version. I'll have a video card somewhere up there for you to see. But this whole thing is about 250 calories for all that because I don't have the granola in it. So I got a little extra yogurt, lots of protein, very filling. The fruit is really good. These strawberries are very ripe and super sweet. So this is going to be really good. But I'm going to eat this because we're going to be at the beach for a while before we come back up for dinner. So it's going to be good. That was good. Like I said, no granola. Forgot to pick some up at the store. But now, let's go have fun at the beach. So back up at the condo now from the beach, I probably had like 200 calories worth of snacks from like fruit and Cheez-Its and stuff the kids were snacking on. Cause as you could see, my NEAT, which is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, was a lot higher than normal, which is things you do basically that aren't actual exercise, but still work you like all those activities I was doing with the kids. But now we're working on dinner. And as you can see here, we have some different vegetables, potatoes and onions some extra broccoli, chicken, cauliflower rice, and all this stuff we're preparing for us and my parents and my sister. But something I wanna bring up to you, this light is terrible. 
Let's move somewhere else. Let's come outside because the light in there is just terrible. Kids are getting showers and they're yelling and stuff too, but I wanted to bring up, do I always eat this clean and healthy when I'm on vacation for all my meals? No, I don't. For example, last night we had some kind of like chicken uh, vegetable lasagna, something like that, Stouffer's type thing for dinner. And it was my mom's birthday, so we had a carrot cake we made, and I had a piece of that. No big deal. I didn't eat as many other things throughout the day because I knew we were having those higher calorie things later. And the day before that, we went out to a pizza place for dinner for my mom's birthday because her birthday was that day, but then we didn't make the cake till the next day because we were not here yet. But anyways, what I used to probably would have done last year was think, oh, I'm gonna have pizza, it's higher calories or cake, so I'm gonna fast all day long because I used to do intermittent fasting a lot. And what would happen is I'd be fine throughout most of the day, I might eat a snack before dinner, but then once we started eating, by the time we got to that point, I was already really hungry, and so when I started eating that pizza, I just kept eating, I couldn't stop. I'd eat a whole pizza and still feel hungry. And then we'd go have cake and I'd eat a piece and then eat another piece, a big piece, have two or three pieces and end up eating, you know, three, 4,000 calories that day. Whereas like today, if I had just eaten my normal food and go there and have two, three pieces of pizza, I'd be fine because I wouldn't feel like I'm starving all day long. So that's the thing I don't like about intermittent fasting. It tends to get me into like a binge eating type of disorder of eating, which is not good. So. Just, if I was gonna be having pizza now, what I would probably do today is like, okay, I'm gonna have one less piece of French toast. I'll probably not have some of the snacks I'm gonna have later tonight because I'll be more full from that pizza and it always swells up in my stomach and I'm usually kind of bloated afterwards. You know, I could save probably six, 700 calories at least throughout the day just by not snacking on some different things because I know I'm gonna have that. So I'm still eating throughout the day but just eating a little bit less. So. I'm not completely depriving myself through fasting and then not being able to control myself later on. So just make sure that you can control yourself and you're making good choices because you don't you don't want to go down that road of thinking, oh, I ate too much, now I can't eat for another day and I have to fast longer and all this stuff and it's, it's not good. I was getting into that and thankfully I found Greg Doucette and learned how to eat better, lower calorie dense foods as you've seen all day long. I feel full. I don't feel like I want to eat something else because I enjoy it. That's the thing. You have to enjoy your diet because if you don't, it will not last. But now we're going to cook this food and then eat it. Quite a lot of food right there. And don't forget Diet Coke that my mom hates. It's zoomed in on me because everyone else is afraid to be in the video until I get more famous. So make sure to subscribe and like the video. Good thing that you're facing. Also, sugar-free G Hue syrup. Good food. Now heading out to do some crab hunting. Can you get my little bag with the Q tip? I got some bites. Gonna prove. Do eat cake. Give me a bite. You want ice cream too? That's a tiny bag. Sorry, it's the hardest thing. It's one thing. I need a little bit of ice cream. Absolutely beautiful. So weird. Come on. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, that's Did you know that? They can sit now. <laughs> 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 
Crab hunting went pretty well. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. We saw a bunch of crabs running around trying to grab them. Riley almost picked one up. It looked like it was about to pinch you though, right? But uh, having my last snack for the night, popcorn. It is smart pop popcorn. This is 100 calories in this bag, but not all the kernels popped either. I'm gonna have this, maybe another one. We'll see how I feel. I was doing a quick running total on my head just through the day, and I think I probably ate close to 3,000 calories, maybe a couple hundred under. You could say I was intuitively eating, which I would not suggest for most people because that's most people's problem. They intuitively eat till they're full, but don't shell. Cool. They don't realize what they're eating. So if you don't know what the calories are in the stuff you're trying to eat, then you can't really intuitively eat to know what you need. I've been doing this a while, so I know what portion sizes typically look like in that type of stuff, even without weighing it. And I can get a pretty close ballpark. But if you intuitively eat, it can be completely different. For example, if I intuitively ate pizza till I was full, I could easily eat 2,000 calories worth of pizza. Whereas with that salad I had this afternoon, it was 400 calories. It was huge and very filling. So you gotta learn what you're eating, how many calories are in things before you just start being able to kind of go throughout your day and keep in mind how much you've eaten and making sure you're not eating way too much, being a huge surplus and gaining weight. But if this was helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. What are you doing, honey? Let's get up higher. Cheese. cheese. You like the crabs? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see next. We got lots of cool stuff coming for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. What? Oh, you too. Bye. She's got her strawberry snack for dinner. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Goodbye. Get a better look at my newest coat. Yeah, you already showed it, buddy. You already showed it. Okay, the end. Bye, everyone. Bye.